Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. A big play here for Dallas. And even 40 yards. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Second down, Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as, your defensive, as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback, or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump them off of their routes, chip away at their timing so that things aren't as precise as they've been so far in this game? They get it to him running left. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Play number eight here on the opening drive. This is third and goal. Good, good, good. Sweat, sweat the eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between let him score a touchdown versus holding him to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. Yeah, you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. So our initial drive of the night ends in three points. Maybe not exactly what this home crowd wanted, but they'll take the early lead. They will take it. You're exactly right. Everybody wants a touchdown. But in this case, good opening drive, put points on the board, and a lot of coaches do believe the first team to score in the game, statistically, often ends up the winner. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first down throw for Mayfield. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure, but it falls incomplete, and it's second down. He was looking for Landry that time. That'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Hey. Let's go! Three, let's go! A second down throw for Mayfield. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Jalen Smith in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Third and long for Mayfield. He's got a man complete. That goes for a gain of 31. 
Well, they just treated third and long as simply an opportunity to make an even bigger play. Normally, you're just trying to pick up the first down and you know where the sticks are. They took this thing way downfield. Confidence in the receivers to go up and make a play, even with defenders around them. Mayfield being chased out left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Trying to get it to Landry there. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A first down carry by Allian. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. To the right side, he's got Cooper. It's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Miles Garrett drop him for a loss of 12 and it'll be fourth down and now a timeout called defensively by the Browns they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter Dak and the offense still out there they're going to go for it Prescott to throw on fourth. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync does the quarterback get his center on that play? They saw the blitz. Made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and find one now for a really good strike. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Prescott. Escapes the sack. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Larry Ogunjobi coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. And this one is no good. He missed it, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. An open receiver, that's David Njoku. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Back, 
Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First down, Mayfield. Buying time to his left. And his throw is incomplete. The intended receiver was Rashard Higgins. And that'll bring up second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Over, 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 over. Ah! On second down, Johnson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Underneath for Johnson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Detroit! Detroit! Mayfield now on second down. Dumping it off for Johnson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. So a minute 55 to go in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. First red zone opportunity for the Browns thus far. They have a first and 10 at the 18. With the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second down. Field with it once more. Flush to his right. And he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. He'd had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him, so I think he's going to have to fling a few in order to open up that running lane again. So now the Browns will turn it over to their field goal unit here. From the right hash, this from 33. And that is no good. The 
And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. First down, Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Rolling to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Prescott from the gun. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And it's fielded at the 34. Oh, another great move. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 to throw Mayfield. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Second down, Mayfield. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. An right, incomplete now, pass on second look down leads us six. to third and inches. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Got an open man, he completes it to Callaway. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself to try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Ah! 
They pitch it to Chubb. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First and ten, Mayfield escaping the pressure right. And this is incomplete. Well, pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, Mayfield to the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Mayfield on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Charles. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And that's off the mark, incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. The Browns on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. And again, it's Mayfield. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Forced out to his left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. zone now Mayfield flushed out right and he just throws this one away smart decision here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down what's the old adage be quick but don't hurry well that went right out the window there he was hurried harassed <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of otherwise he was going to get sacked So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing, 
Mayfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Randy Gregory in there to get him for his second sack of the night. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Detroit! Detroit! Third and long for Mayfield. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. The Cowboys offense now. They head out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Prescott to throw this time. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Cowboys on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and six. Here we go, 46. Here you go. Good. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Able to get away. Steps away, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Snap it to Prescott. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the feet. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the third. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Scott. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Eluding the pressure right. Incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. 
trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, didn't look his way at all in the first half, and I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Flush to his right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Underneath for Johnson. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Field. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, the fans should be applauding this defense right now. That's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys with great field position, probably near midfield or better. Here's Britton Colquitt now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Here's Austin. Look at the dance of the juke. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. And now here come the Cowboys. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Here go, 46. Here go, wide eight. Here go, here we go, go to 54, go to 54, wide eight. Here we go, 46, 46. Switch, 
Prescott now on second down. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 30 yards there. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Again to Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Here we go, 47. Here we go, 46, 46. 46. Tenth carry now for Elliott. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. First down now, but that clock rolling. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They come out here in the eye. It's coming now. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Prescott scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And now a critical extra point attempt here. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And the Browns getting set to go. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Mayfield to throw. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! Ah! Now Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. This secondary is a unit. They've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon.
The Browns on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and ten. Here's Mayfield. He's got his tight end in Joku. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Mayfield. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. down carry here for Johnson and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24 yard line and a timeout coming in this will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining so this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the rookie kicker he's made one and he's missed one thus far this for the win and that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. So it was a golden chance to go ahead here in the final moments, but he misses for a second time in this game. Brandon, either one of those go, and they might be on their way to a victory. Instead, they're going to have to hold on here defensively just to force overtime. Now Prescott, flushed out right, wide open, Amari Cooper. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets double, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Now Mayfield. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. The first throw in overtime for Mayfield now. Eluding the pressure right. Dumping it off for Johnson. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Little OT scramble drill that time, Mr. Davis. And partner, I can tell you from personal experience, nothing drives a defense crazier than having things covered and the quarterback takes off and picks up a first down or big yardage. Because whether you're in zone or man, it's easy to lose track of him because you don't always have someone assigned to him. And once he goes, now everybody's scrambling to try and tackle him. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Randy Gregory bringing the pressure again, and that is his third sack here tonight. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. From 
the shotgun. It's Mayfield. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. A costly mistake here in OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually... chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. If you throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Oh, a nice spin. Yeah, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now what can Prescott do in the OT? Able to push his way through. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Larry Ogunjobi in there to drop him the seventh time tonight. He's gone down. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. The Cowboys on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third down and 12. 46. Here we go. 47. 47. Here we go. 46. 46. Here's Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. Now he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. They picked up a first down and a whole lot more. Forget about just looking for the sticks. They went well beyond the stick. I know they were talking about guarding the sticks on defense. They didn't guard them very well. They got a big-time completion on a third down. That's almost a backbreaker, isn't it? In overtime, every play's importance is magnified. And that one could turn out to be huge. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And that carry probably not so much for yardage, just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage you game there is really kind of great. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT.